now that all the cells are removed and every single one has been voltage tested and they're all like measuring pretty much exactly the same voltage I'm now going to start assembling them together so I won't have enough bus bars to make up the whole pack um, because when you when I hear it, use the existing bus bars to link them all in parallel you end up with a situation where you've only got half as much as you need so I'm making extra ones out of copper pipe I'm sure it's a uh, 15 millimeter and I'm just flattening it and then what I did was uh, well I got the copper pipe put up against the the amount of cells I want to put in parallel marked it cut it to length using a pipe cutter and then I just marked along it where I want the holes drilled I'll make the holes a bit bigger than they need to be as well and maybe make them a bit slotted as well so I've got a bit of uh, wiggle room uh, so I'm going to drill holes in this now and uh, I reckon I'll and I'll also file along the edges as well and I'll basically cut this in half and I'll end up with two bus two bus bars um, out of one piece of pipe now I'm at the stage of getting all the cells installed and I've got them sitting on foam partly for insulation reasons so that in winter they won't lose quite as much heat um, and I'm also going to have foam surrounding the outside as for heating them when winter comes around I'm not sure uh, I'm going to have to make up uh, a few heating elements uh, like I did on my other video so uh, there's still lots to do but I'm just my priority right now is getting them installed and getting them discharged a bit because they're sitting close to fully charged which isn't good for them uh, and sadly I'm wasting quite a lot of space here because uh, I can't I'll need to build shelves above the battery uh, because uh, they're, they're taking up I'm going to take up all of this so that's really not ideal space wise so another thing is the batteries are actually slightly concave um, I'm not sure whether that's some sort of measure it's taken to compensate for when they puff up eventually over a very long period of time but uh, I'm just stacking them like that they've all got this little piece of rubber and at the end I just put on a cell that has uh, no piece of rubber on it and I'm just stacking them all together like this and I'm just going to repeat that until all the interconnects are made so it's half eleven at night and uh, I'm still at this uh, so I'm getting all the nuts put in uh, so I've uh, coated my tools in heat shrink for safety I did not have enough linkages as I expected um, so what I've done is I've made some out of copper pipe which I just file along the edges and then well, I, I just flatten it mark it, drill it and then file along both sides and then split it in half uh, and these are all the, the linkages and the main linkages going across from one block to another uh, I have to flatten those because uh, they wouldn't reach otherwise so and I'm using the thicker ones because they would be handling more of the current than these uh, so that's what we've got just now uh, I'm just going to have to uh, get everything put in place this here is a 100 amp circuit breaker <coughs> and it will be just going on the positive over there I've just used some of the high voltage cable uh, just as an extension because uh, the cable in there is not long enough and the 40 amp circuit breaker will go somewhere else no that's actually a 50 so I've just got to get um, all 120 of these nuts in come up against another complication uh, so when I've got two link pieces like this and I put the other one on top of it it's actually been pushing the battery cells apart leaving a gap on this side and not on this side and it just messed everything up so what I've had to do is just cut the tops cut about 3mm off each one uh, on both sides and that seems to work uh, it's uh, 12 o'clock now so 12 o'clock at night so I'm just going to have to keep going I've still got all these to do uh, but yeah it's a bit of a nightmare it's taken me a lot longer than I 
I was hoping it would. And I'll get the battery management system put on tomorrow, the balancers. Well, it is now one o'clock in the morning and I've finally got the battery connected. Uh, got my 100 amp circuit breaker there and they're all uh, just ready to be used so I'm just going to discharge them for a while, feed them back into the grid uh, just while I get everything tidied up. Uh, Cause I'm in my bed now, uh, very tired. <laughs> 